Okay, I'm going to tie you um, a, goose, uh, a turkey by a nymph. And the hook I'm using is a Partridge G3LA, which is the new heavy wet fly hook. I'm going to start off with a tail made out of dyed pheasant tail. About six strands of that. Tie those in on top of the hook and then just take the silk down and back to make sure we get a nice smooth underbody. Yeah, this 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 is a it's a general purpose nymph. It's it's close enough to a mayfly nymph that it will work if the mayfly are hatching. But it's also um, close enough to several other insects. So you could you could imitate a damselfly with this. Um, if you tied it slightly larger, you could even call it a dragonfly. But it's a, it's a general, a good general wet fly pattern. So I've tied in a turkey by it, uh, which is going to form the body. And the reason I'm using turkey is because it's nice and wide, it gives really good segmentation. You've got these nice wide stripes. The detached bodies, I've used them before. Uh, I quite like them, but they're, they're, they're nice. They're perfectly adequate. I'm not quite sure whether it's fly tying or not. It becomes a little bit like model making when you start. Let's tidy that up. Okay, so I'm going to put a bit of seal spur dubbing on, lick my finger and thumb, dry them. Just gives it a bit of a tackiness, and then just roll the dubbing onto the silk. We don't want a lot, we just want a tiny pinch. Don't, I don't use beeswax, no. You can use it. One of my friends, who's probably the best fly tire in the UK, calls it the fly tire's crutch. And I'm going to use a hackle. Uh, this is jungle cock shoulder, dyed green. Um, Died it myself, didn't do a particularly good job. This is the bit that everybody throws away on the jungle cock capes. Just trim off the base fibres, trim off the excess. The nice thing about dyeing your own is, is um, colour is never an issue. So uh, I would tie this in the greens, in the olive colours, the light browns. Not so much in the darker colours with this uh, segmented effect, so I think you lose the segmented body. But uh, So we finished the hackle off, we just swept it back, finished a neat little head. The last thing I'm going to do is finish with a half hitch, uh, the half hitch tool. One, two, three turns, keep it under tension, slide it up to the eye, slide it over the eye, get off. And do it once again for security. Slide it over the eye, slide it off. Draw off the silk, and then a little blob of varnish will finish the fly. It's ready to go fishing.